did 10th century Persian polymath Al-Razi suggest eating acidic fruit as a greening out remedy? What is the entourage effect in cannabis and why is it so important? Find out on this episode of Weed Easy by The Growth Up. In ancient times, some cures for getting too high included lemons, calamus plant roots, pine nuts, and black pepper. Over time, word got out about Al-Razi's citrus fruit remedy and lemons actually became widely known as a cannabis antidote. But what about lemons or even black pepper counteracts a too strong toke? According to the work of neurologist Dr. Ethan Russo, the answer could be terpenes. Click the letter I in the top right corner of your screen to watch our video on terpenes and learn all about how crucial they are to the smell of your cannabis and much more. Lemons contain limonene, a terpene commonly found in cannabis, which might negate the trippy effects of too much THC. This interaction could mean that terpenes may be able to affect and in some cases join forces with the other compounds in cannabis. The entourage effect is what occurs when different cannabis compounds like terpenes THC or CBD combine together to create an effect that is more powerful than what they produced on their own. Still under debate, it could be why the effects of cannabis extracts can be two to four times greater than just THC alone. It could even be why cannabis strains affect us in different ways. Each strain could have a slightly different terpene profile, which in turn creates a different cocktail of effects when combined with well-known cannabis compounds. For example, myrcene is a terpene found in cannabis and in hops, which may have sedative effects. When combined with THC, the two potentially produce the couch luck effect many people often feel after using certain strains of cannabis. Or take pinene, another cannabis terpene that could be effective against MRSA. MRSA is a staph bacterial infection that's pretty resistant to antibiotics and can lead to life-threatening septicemia. Two cannabinoids, CBD or cannabin oil and CBG or cannabigerol, inhibit MRSA. And according to Dr. Russo, a CBG extract accompanied by pinene could pack a serious punch against MRSA, since the terpene could allow these cannabinoids to permeate skin more easily. More research is needed on the effects of cannabis, but the more we find out about how cannabinoids and terpenes interact, the greater the possibilities are for using the cannabis plant at its full potential. Thanks for watching Weed Easy by The Growth Up. Subscribe to our channel for more cannabis content and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Visit thegrowthop.com, the premium destination for cannabis news and views.